you have kidney disease and you've heard you need to eat a low protein diet and you search on the internet and you find out that some protein is bad for you and some of it's not bad for you what do you do well i'm going to tell you coming right up Between 1990 and 2010, the leading causes of death and disability here in the U.S. pretty much remain the same, except, you guessed it, for kidney disease. The number of deaths and the number of people who needed dialysis just to stay alive over doubled during that time. Now, scientists don't know exactly 100% for sure why that happened, but most of them suspect that it's the American diet. And I agree with them. Now the American diet pretty much consists of super sweet stuff, like lots of sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and lots of animal protein. That's from dairy, that's eggs, milk, and mm, a delicious steak. Now there is a lot of evidence here in the US and all around the world that eating a low protein diet is good for your kidneys. But why is that? Well, let's take a look real quick and talk about what happens when you eat animal protein. Now, when you eat animal protein, it's pretty tough on your kidneys. It puts a lot of stress on them. And within a few hours of eating animal protein, and I'm talking, you know, like I mentioned earlier, eggs, milk, as well as meat, your kidneys go into hyperfiltration mode and they're working overtime to process that protein and all the byproducts, all the waste that that protein generates that's floating around your blood that's not good for you. Now that's a lot of stress on your kidneys. And remember, the secret to my success in improving my kidneys has been reducing the stress on them by managing what I eat and taking supplements that help reduce the stress. Now, if you look at plant-based protein, and there's lots of scientific evidence out there about this, it doesn't put all that stress on your kidneys. As a matter of fact, it puts practically no stress on your kidneys, and your kidneys do not go into hyperfiltration mode. That's awesome. Now, now here's something really awesome. The benefits of having lower stress on your kidneys by eating plant-based protein isn't just helpful for those that have kidney disease, it's also great for those that are diabetic. And in addition, research has clearly showed that when you eat plant protein instead of animal protein, there is a huge reduction in the mortality rate for those with kidney disease. So how do you make the switch from animal-based protein to plant-based protein? When you go shopping, look for vegan food. Go to the frozen food section, wherever they have all the fake meats, the artificial meats, and look for anything vegan. One of my favorites, right here, this guy. I absolutely love this chicken patties. Now this is non-soy based, which I also recommend going for when possible because soy causes bloating and water retention. And that's something when you have kidney disease, we don't need. We're already fighting that as it is and watching our salt and stuff like that. So try to limit the amount of soy that you eat just so you're not having that problem. But these right here are fantastic. They're vegan. This is uh, spicy chicken patties. These taste exactly like the McChicken patties at McDonald's. And these can be microwaved. So what I like to do is I get some preservative free bread. I microwave one or two of these. I use some vegan mayonnaise. Again, vegan food, no eggs, no dairy, nothing like that. I'm not getting that animal-based protein. And I put some shredded lettuce or how about this? Shredded cabbage, which gives you extra crunch to it. And I have what I like to call my McFacon McChicken sandwich. So I hope this helped clear up some of the confusion 
around eating protein when you have kidney disease. Eating animal protein is tough on them and you really should limit that. But you need protein. Your body needs it for healthy bones, to help wounds heal. And the solution is to eat plant-based protein and to help reduce water retention and bloating, limit the amount of soy. An easy way to find a solution for you, a type of, of protein that, that meets these requirements is to look in the vegan section of your grocery stores. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me on YouTube, click the little bell icon. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you know someone who's fighting kidney disease or even diabetes, because this applies to diabetes too, share this video with them and hopefully it'll help them understand what protein does to their kidneys and a good alternative of still getting it, still enjoying protein. Thank you very much.